Check this out. Look at that. Mom with the babies. So it's 6.30 in the morning right now on a Saturday and I'm going to go to some garage shells. I'm actually really excited. I'm not sure what I'm going to find. I'm here in Napa, California. Uh, about two weeks ago, my mother informed me that in her garbage bill, uh, in her garbage bill, she received a notice that there was going to be tons of garage shells or, um, I don't know, citywide garage shell fair. So it's a little overwhelming. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go see if I can find anything. Again, it's 6.30. Everyone in my house is asleep, but I'm so stoked. Let's go and see if we can find anything good. Do you by chance have any uh, video games? Video games? Yeah. No, no, actually we don't have gotcha. any video games. Okay. So, went to my first garage shell of the morning, and uh, as, as you saw, no video game, so we're on one. Let's keep going. So, I'm doing a lot of driving, but I don't see a lot of sales. Okay, so I did not find any games. I went to, after several garage sales, I'd get my first buy. It was not game related, unfortunately. I ended up getting Rise of the Planet of the Apes on Blu-ray for a buck. I've never seen that movie. And I'm actually, I saw a pretty good review of it on IGN. So I'm like, you know what? For a buck, Blu-ray. Don't have a lot of Blu-rays. Put my uh, PS4 to uh, play a movie every once in a while, so I picked that one up. Okay, so I just got done going to a house, and they sold a box of 30 Xbox 360 games for 10 bucks, and I just missed out on it. So I'm really bummed, not coming across any games. Let's keep going. <laughs> I finally, after about a dozen or so garage shells, I finally have found success. I was able to get, for my first gaming score of the day, four Nintendo 64 games. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got at this end of the video. Okay, so the day's getting much better. I just went to a house. And I was able to get five Dreamcast games. Uh, they're asking 15. I'll go over the ones in a bit. But they're asking 15. I was able to get five Dreamcast games for 10 bucks. Um, now I just have to get a Dreamcast system. So I just got back from a house. I was in a negotiating zone because this guy had tons of NES games. He had an NES console. He had the fight stick or the, the controller stick. Uh, and he wanted to sell me all the games and the system for like 170 And I thought that was way too high and kind of went back and forth with the negotiating. I wanted the NES console too, but he wanted to sell it. He's like, oh, they're going on eBay for like 80 bucks. I think they were looking at like the highest list price that no one was buying. So fortunately, I don't have an NES console. I had one that had issues. So I don't have an NES console. I'm working on that right now, but I was able to get nine games, talk them down to 40 bucks. Some of those games are actually pretty decent. So I'm really excited. Just show you a quick look. I'll go over them at the end of this video.
Okay, so I've got the games all lined up. I'm now going to show you guys what I was able to get at the garage sale. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first off, this is the first thing I was able to get. Unfortunately, it was not game related. It is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, I thought this was the sequel. I think this is the first new reboot. I got it for a dollar. It includes the DVD and the Blu-ray. So the first gaming score I was able to get, I was able to get four Nintendo 64 games. Um, first one, we've got Quake 2. I'm not sure if it's any good on the Nintendo 64. I did play Quake on the PC. Got here um, War Gods. I'm not sure if that's any good. It's by Midway. Let me know if it's any good. Honestly, I, I know nothing about it. I have a feeling it might be a stinker. I don't know. Uh, got here XG2. Racing game looks like. I'm not sure. I have no idea if that's any good. And then finally, I got Pilot Wing 64. I know Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo was really good, but I don't know if it was any good for the Nintendo 64. Okay, so yeah, I was able to get these four games for $8. Uh, let me know if that's a good deal. Uh, I think it's a good deal. I'm not sure. I think a couple of games might be stinkers. Hopefully not all of them are stinkers. Okay, next up, I was able to get five Dreamcast games for 10 bucks. They wanted 15, I was able to get them for 10. First off, we've got Sega Bass Fishing. Never played it. 18 wheeler, oh man, I don't know if that's any good. Let me know in the comment section below if that's a good one or if that's a stinker. By the way, I do not have a Dreamcast yet, so hopefully we'll be able to play these soon. So next up we got Crazy Taxi. It's a good one, fun one. We got uh, Sonic Adventure. Pretty excited about that. Finally, Hydro Thunder. Very excited. Okay, so finally I'm gonna go over the nine NES games I was able to get for $40 and First off, we have here Popeye. It's one I don't usually see that often. When I went up there and saw the NES games, I was just so excited. The guy really wanted to overprice. He wanted like way too much for the console. Kid Nicky, love this one in the arcade. Honestly, one of my favorite arcade games of all time. I actually got to put a lot of time with this one on the NES version, but I never got the NES version. Only got to play it at a friend's house. Except we have here Double Dare. I never actually have seen this in the wild. I'm sure it's bad, but uh, let me know in the comment section below on Double Dare. Highlight. I never played it. Honestly, let me know if it's if it's any good. Because honestly, I I have no idea if this is a good one. Wolverine. This is one that I don't see that often. I actually played through this one all the way one time. I rented this one as a kid. Didn't like that much, but this kind of I got it for a really good deal. Um, so I decided to, to get it just in case, you know, needed to unload it. Uh, Friday the 13th, I'm sure it's awful, but I don't see it that often uh, when I do see NES games. Got here Gauntlet. Of course, classic. Love that one in the arcade. I have here POW. Actually, I've never played POW. And finally, got here, The Legend of Zelda. Which, you know, the first Zelda game I ever bought was actually uh, Zelda 2. Um, so anyway, there we go. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.